Two, three, two. Hashtag good family at Amanda Seals at Kev on stage. Hashtag verse TV 232D. In my mind, what I want more than anything is 25 years from now on Thanksgiving, I want my kids to be able to come to our house Mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving with their wives, girlfriends, baby moms, a strange, whatever, whatever, whoever they love. Boyfriends, whatever they love, non-binary. Whoever you like, it's the baby mama though. Bring them to the house. You don't know. Hey, people make choices. Listen, people paths, make choices. paths are not as straight as that's here. That's, so, that's kind of like the easing in. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever you wear at the moment, y'all want some greens? Come on. Come on in. You're all okay. welcome. Why it's important for me to know that that's what I want. Then it helps me inform what I want to do now. That's good, good. Because okay, what kid. will happen is. <laughs> All right. Yes, you see, that was an advertisement for Amanda Seals podcast, Small Doses. Check it out to see the full thing. Mm-hmm. And I will say that I I love all three of them. Amanda Seals, Kev on stage, and Ms. Kev on stage, a.k.a. Melissa Fredericks which is his last name too. Anyway, I, I, I love them and the Kev, Ben, and Melissa are both fellow 1983 babies. So my love has increased exponentially. I still remember, oh yeah. Yeah. There are those in my family who have gone before me and paved the way for me, fortunately, for um, LGBT. So I have older LGBT families who have paved, family members who have paved the way for me, and I appreciate that. And I look to continue that love and even farther expand that love. That is important to me. And I will say, I know I have been following um, Kev on stage. It feels so weird when he's been following somebody, but I've been following Kev on stage work for over a decade at this point, which means that that's also gone through the times when I was really struggling with accepting my sexuality. Like I was, particularly as my Christianity was going and growing in a particular way, I would feel uncomfortable watching his shows, knowing that he is a Christian comedian and seeing that sometimes he would have gay guests on his show and I'd be like and this still sort of gets to me but I I was at such a uh, troubled point there in my uh, mid-20s that I would feel uncomfortable and I would feel that us gay people were not worthy of being treated like humans and I, I I was thinking about that this weekend as I was writing my stuff. And I was like, that actually brought a tear to my eye because that, that's what it was. I, I didn't think that we were worthy of being treated like humans, which is awful. And I, I had to grow. I had to grow. And I think it's beautiful how he is so uh, accepting and has been so accepting and Christian because it's not a uh, contradiction. Like Lauren Hill said um, years ago, do you remember it was some award that she won? I I think it was her Grammy. And she was like, it's okay to be fly and be Christian. That's okay. It's not a contradiction. Anyway, basic complexity. Um, well, first off, um, 
I fully agree with the another cover. Um, now, for the most part, the majority, not all, but the majority of us um, millennials, we are fairly liberal. Once again, not all, but most of us are. And that's, that's just the way things are as of now. And who's after us? Gen Z, they are even more liberal than we are. And that's what I have. I feel that we're